Good day everyone. For this video, I'm going to discuss probability distribution. Actually, this is the part 2 of the random variable, discussion of the random variable. Say, for in, in this experiment or in the experiment of tossing a coin twice, there are four possible outcomes, namely head head or two heads, head tail, tail head, and two tails. If x is a random variable representing the number of tails in the outcomes, then x contains 0, 1, and 2. Wait. Okay. Now, with these random values of the random variable, with this random variable x, we can construct a probability distribution. So, on the right side, you can see a table, and that is a probability distribution. The question here is, how are we going to construct a probability distribution? Okay, so we already determined that there are three values for the random variable x that contains the number of tails when a coin is tossed twice. Now, the sample space can be seen on the left portion of that slide. As you can see, it contains two heads, head tail, tail head, and two tails. So, a probability distribution contains the elements of the random variable and the corresponding probability of these values of the random variable. So, what is the corresponding probability of zero? The question here is, how many times or what is the probability that there are no tails? occur. Now, how are we going to determine this probability? Now, if we're going to like take a look at the sample space, there are four outcomes. And that is that four outcomes is the number of sample space or the cardinality of the sample space. Now, another question here is how many element or how many outcome that there is no tail on it. There are zero tails on it. And as you can see, there is only one. Oops. There is only one outcome. And that is the first one. So, the probability that there is no tail occur will be 1 out of 4. That, that is why the corresponding probability of 0, the value of the random variable 0, is 1 out of 4. The second one is 1, the var value of the random variable 1. What is the probability that 1, only one tail, exactly one tail, will occur? So, let us count the number of elements that contains only one tail. And that is the uh, second and third one. In other words, there are two out of four. And if we're going to simplify two out of four, that will be one half. That is why we have there one half. And for the third one, we have two. Similar to the first one, like zero, there is only one element on the sample space that has two tails. So, its probability will be one out of the total number of elements on the sample space that is four. So, the probability corresponds to two is one.